tell you, these things are heavy. We got them all bound up with about a thousand of these steel wires, but here's the unit I got. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's 500 pounds, but they are heavy. So I'll keep cutting. Right, this thing is heavy. I like that ring. It's heavier than what I like because you can't manhandle it, but for its job, it should do a lot better. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick video on the new investment I made on uh, these drag harrows. And as you're going to see, I'm extremely impressed with them. No, they're not sponsors. I bought them. But I've, I've used virtually everything under the sun. I've done the old mattress springs. I've done the old mattress springs with bricks and weights on them. I used to do the old John Deere. And there's another Massey or different one where you can adjust the teeth on the bottom. I've done those. I've done steel frame um, drags. I've done steel frame with chain link and hog fence in the middle with weights on them. You know where you pile up a huge pile of dirt in front of them so anyways this year i wanted to go with a real drag since my homemade one's on the way out and so i got these from s3 harrows and i'm gonna tell you they're i already used them a half dozen times i really like them so you'll see them in the upcoming videos i ran it down the gravel driveway to test it out i've done a half dozen food plots with them already and i got them behind the new 12 foot disc so these things are game changers so i just wanted to introduce them to you today just on this topic because food plot videos are on the way coming out soon thanks a lot All right, here's this drag. I'm gonna tell you, this was no easy task. It was because it was all tangled together, uh, getting, it's like steel Jenga. So this is it, it's heavy duty and you could flip it. So right now you see these spikes. You leave it on this side, you're gonna make a nice flat. It's just gonna flatten things. If you flip it over, them spikes are gonna rough up the dirt or gravel as well. It looks like it's gonna be pretty heavy duty. It was definitely sold as a heavy duty unit, so. We'll see. All right, I decided to go all in. Learned some things about these drags too in the process so far is these are bi-directional. You got these hooks on both ends so you could make it more aggressive the way these teeth lay or you can make it less aggressive. I'm not sure which direction is actually more or less. You see right now it's it's going this way, but if I flipped it, this would be that. Yeah, that'd probably be way less aggressive. So I have it on the the higher aggression, which is what I want for what I'm doing food plotting. Pretty sure this is going to work, but I'm just going to strap these on here and try it. And obviously, if it works, I'll weld something on there more permanent. So needless to say, not only did it work, it worked very well. Um, I've been using it on really, really wet dirt here in a couple of different applications. So I like it. I'll put a link in the description to this website. Uh, these cost me $615 each for a six footer. And like I mentioned, you could use them in four different configurations. So far, they've just been awesome. So stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate it. And best of luck if you decide on this S3 Harrow. Thanks.